Hi guys, welcome back to CG Productions. My name is Tom. And my name is Paul, and we are back with some Shades by Shades by uh, Sepulchral Guard versus the Stormcast Eternals. Yeah, you've borrowed my. You're going to just actually attack with my deck. I'm just going to get stuck in. I'm going to show you how to use Stormcast. I'm just going to play some objectives. Uh, you won with the Oryx against the Stormcast. I two did. to one. I did. Uh, and against... now Tom's said, like, teach me how to use them, please. If we're going to put this stuff on the internet, show me how to use them. I'll be like, all right, dude, I'll do it for you. I'll be nice. Not a bad conversation, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> So I'm going to play the Skellies, which explode into bone fragments as soon as they're touched. Yes. But there's lots of them. So and they come back them. inspired. They do. So uh, I'm hoping to get lots of objectives. You are going to bundle forward and see what you can get. I think there's the, the biggest hammers, crew it? versus the smallest crew. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting how that dynamic works. Because yes. you can bludgeon through my guys quite quick, but they can swarm. come back and swarm me and kill me and... Back to yeah, so this will be game number one in a best of three series. So we will go down to the table and see in a sec. Okay, so here we are at the start of the game and the objectives are pretty much squared off. We've got objective one, four, three, five, and two. Mm -hmm. uh, Stormcast have kind of deployed very aggressively, Paul. Yeah. Um, smash smashed some am, skellies. Yeah, as I said before in the intro, I am using your deck, which is quite defensive, so I might have made a mistake here. But the the... Paper thin skellies. Whack a mole is yeah. great. So I've gone with the standard skellies plan of kind of putting the petitioners near the back and putting the name dudes near the front because you want them dead. Uh, so people ask to see our objectives as we go in. I will quickly show my three just there. Paul, how about you? And I will show my three just there. Hopefully you can see all of them. So Paul won the roll off. Uh, and are you going to go first or second, mate? I am going to go first, please. So, we're going to the Stormcast first activation of the first turn. Okay, so my first activation is going to be leading by example, Steelheart is going to charge in. You mean Steelheart's not going to get hurt and just hide an objective? That's, that's my, that's my go-to. No, Steelheart is going to charge in, so one, two, three. Oh, you're charging at the, the uh, champion, champion there. Yep. Oh, launching so tokens. I get two dice looking for hammers to do three damage. And I get a crit. I get one dice looking for dodges by any crit. crit. Oh, oh get, it. get it! No! That is a draw! That's a draw. He laughs at your, uh, your charge. That sucked. Any ploys, mate? Um, no. That, that worked out really nicely. Damn it. Over to the skellies. Okay, well, um, completely disgusted at this big brooding man who's just charged in, Paul. I think the champion is going to swing. The size difference. He's gonna, <laughs> just look at the base size difference. Uh, the champion's going to swing back with his white blade, which has cleave. Uh -oh. So you're going to need a crit for your defence. Um, I have got two dice looking for hammers. Um, if I roll a shield, it will still become inspired. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. So, I get two hammers. You are going to need a crit to uh, defend. Oh, oh, dodge. The dodge. So that is going to be a mighty two damage done to you, sir. Boo. Which take immediately shield. halves his HP. Yeah. Take shield hard down to two. And I'm going to push him back a hex okay. as well. Uh, now, in terms of ploys, I don't think I have anything in particular. I oh, know, I tell you what, I am going to play one. I'm going to play Shattering Terrain, which means any fighters that make a move action are pushed or are driven back in the next activation, suffer one damage. Ooh. So, just to keep you honest there, okay. anything you would like to play, mate? I am going to play a healing potion. Ah, uh, um, Steel heart. So uh, so, roll. Yep, so I'm looking for a shield or a crit. Shield. shield. Um, to remove one damage. Is oh, up to two, two if you uh, use a shield, uh, I think. Yeah. Two if you use a shield, so still heart is removed. Well, in that case, we're going to go for all of the cards here. I'm going to play uh, Jewel of Wits. Play oh. this when an opponent plays a ploy. Draw two power cards. That is a reaction, but I thought I'd So I get to draw two more. Um, but I think I will end it there, mate. Okay, I have nothing else to play. Okay, so my activation is going to be Bright Shield. She's disgusted at the fact that her boss man is kind of like... Yeah, man, well, that was disappointing. So he's like tails between his legs in all of our games. Yeah, he's, he's not great, is he? Um, I'm going to charge around Steelheart, so... So he will take a point two, of damage. Three. So I will take a point of damage. 
which I will just add now. Disgusted um, at the yeah. at this <laughs> skeleton that's just swung at her, ba- her boss man. And I will um, make an attack. So three dice needing hammers. Three dice. She is very efficient with her attacks. Yep. Uh, see, I get one, one hammer. hammer. I've got one dice. Looking for a dodge. Oh no. So that is two damage from Sigmarite Hammer. Two damage? Mm-hmm. The champion's got three health, so actually I'm surprised he stays alive there. Yeah, um, but I do get to push you back and you will take another point of damage, which will kill you. Oh, sad face. Um, that takes him out. That does take me out, so. Boop. So I get a point of glory for you that. You do get a point of glory. Yay! So that's one on the board. Do you want to play any upgrades or any ploys, mate? I I'm just looking through my cards now. It's alright, I'm going to put this uh, marker just to show that Bright Shield has done a business. Okay, I will play uh, a, an equipment which I will put onto Bright Shield, which is blessed by Sigma, which gives a plus one wound. So she basically heals that one that so, she took. Yeah, so she's got five health, but is on four, so I'll just. Pop that under it and take the wound away, so we know she can still take four. Okay, uh, I've got nothing to play, so we'll see what the skellies do next. Well, disgusted at seeing his brethren just get absolutely mullered, uh, the Prince of Dust is going to charge one, two, just to that position there at brave. Mr. Steelheart. He is brave. He's a brave skelly man. So he's got uh, two dice, looking for hammers. Okay. Oh, and I get a crit. Oh, so I'm going to need a crit or a shield. Oh, nothing. nothing. So that is a point of damage to Mr. Steelheart. A point of damage. Uh, but it is not back one, so I get to push you back two hexes. Uh, so I'm gonna just going to go... Uh, one, two. Okay. And just like chuck it. Steelheart over there. Out of my face. Out of my... Sc- well, if I had a face. Out of my <laughs> skull. <laughs> Any ploys, mate? Uh, no. Uh, I don't think there's anything I particularly want to play at the moment, so back to you. So, I'm not happy that you just pushed the old heart back. Get out of my face! Out of my face! Um, right, I'm going to activate Oberyn the Bold, or Oberyn the Bold, whatever his name is. Obby, obby, obby. Obby, obby, obby. Oi, oi, oi. Um, and I'm going to charge him three. <laughs> You're really desperate to remove these people. Yeah. Um, so, get to make an attack. Uh, go for it. Uh, no, yes. So you want hammers, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I have got a single dice in my defence looking for a dodge. Do not get it. Get it. How Boom. much damage are you doing that to me? three damage. That is an insta-kill, which is a point of glory for you. Point of glory for me. However, Ooh. I will play. And I will, just before you do that. I've got a reaction I've, as well. But I've, I've just created... But I've got a reaction. I've got, I've got a score immediately of my warband. Fine, go on then. Yeah. I think the yeah. reaction's ahead, but go on. Okay, go for it. Then. Uh, go, uh, I'm just going to play Bone Shrapnel, where literally you take a point of damage because you took me out of action. A skelly explodes with bones. Well, I scored immediately because I had taken two fighters out of action this phase. Or Inspiring. Yeah, it's quite a good one for the Stormcast to have in terms of the fact that you just easily get some points. That's you on three glory already. Three glory already, yes. So, um, but yeah, Oberyn has taken a point of damage. Yes, yes, I've added that. Have you got any points you'd like to play? Uh, no, but... I could really do get some glory on the board here. I will spend um, one of my glory to give uh, Bright Shield Shield Bash. Which, uh, during an adjacent fighter's attack action that targets this fighter and fails, this fighter cannot be driven back and you can push their attacker one hex. Oh, okay. So she's like, no, I don't want any of this. Yeah, so I think it's just shove you away. Um, And I will then play great strength and I will put that on. Because you need it against the skellies. Oh, no, I don't actually need that, do I? Um, so I won't actually. Um, oh, I should have taught you out. Yeah, yeah no. I, I thought about it anyways. It was you could potentially yeah. one-shot the warden with Oberyn. Yeah, well, we'll do it still hard. Do it <laughs> potentially good night. Um, I will put the same thing. I oh, know great strength is what I've just been reading. Uh, I'll put heroic stride on Steelheart. 
Um, so if an enemy fighter ends their activation within two hexes um, of this fighter, Steelheart, I can push them back one hex. So there's my three glory spent now. Oh, they're pretty tooled up now. They so are, we'll yes. see what the uh, Scally's get up to next. Over to me, and I think I'm just going to swap an objective card and replace it with this objective card. Simple activation for me. Um, there's not much to activate, so I'm just going to draw a card. Um, you got any plays or anything to play, mate? I don't think I have anything on hand, actually. I'm struggling to get anything to get some points yet again. It's my <laughs> ongoing issue here. Um, um, so your final activation. Here we go. Paul singing away in the background there. Uh, the Warden is going to charge just to there. Because he's got a two hex melee range at Lady Bright Shield. Yeah. Uh, you've got some rolling space here, mate. I'm going to roll first, though. So we've got uh, two dice needing hammers. Oh, I get a hammer and a crit. That's not you bad. Need a crit. No. Nope. Uh, off camera, but it's a dodge. So that is going to be a mighty two damage them to you, sir. And I'm just going to shove Bright Shield back a hex again away from that objective now I don't think I've got any ploys that I'd like to play that puts Bright Shield down to two health doesn't it uh, so it's trying to see if I can chip away at her a little bit later but at the moment I don't think I've got anything I want to play mate anything for you uh, no I got none right so we'll go to the end phase and we'll look at the next turn so this is how things look at the start of the second turn. Neither of us scored any objectives, Paul. Uh, no. Which is bad news for the skellies. He's pushed me off objective three. Um, so what I have done, because I've got no upgrades and you had no glory to buy upgrades, we've no. just cycled our objectives. So basically I got rid of two. Uh, so I now have these three cards here. How about you, mate? Yeah, I got rid of both of the two I had and I now have um, these three cards. Not sure if they are in camera shotgun practice yeah. about that. Yeah, um, oh, no, sorry. I have those three cards. <laughs> Paul won the roll off. I did. And you've elected to go first. I have. So Stormcast who are just whack a molding these skellies. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of range for a, a few things now, so your champion, uh, sorry, your, your warden is looking like a tasty target. Yeah, warden's probably going to get slapped, so... Uh, um, I'm thinking about it. Definitely thinking about it. <laughs> right, so we'll go to the Stormcast first activation. A uh, bit of a tough one for me, uh, because... He's the, been pouring over the just, decision here. just don't have the, the distance to be able to, to deliver the damage that I need to, so I'm going to just try and cause a bit of it force you into a decision effectively so, so I'm going to activate Oberon and I am going to charge him one oh two, you're going for the big swing rather than the yes mathematical swing yeah I'm going for the big swing um, in the charge Oberon into the champion into uh, the warden the warden sorry yeah so I get two dice looking for hammers I get a crit I've got one dice I get nothing so that does deliver three damage oh it puts me down to one um, do you want to push me <sighs> contemplative thought I'm genuinely contemplating it because you'll activate him next he, he can move away if he wants to anyway. yeah he can get away um, no I'm not going to push you I'm going to force you to make a decision basically okay um, any ploys yes No. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. <laughs> actually, yes. Uh, I'm going to play Heroic Guard. Oh, what's um, that do? That allows me to put a friendly fighter on guard. So I'm going to put Oberon on guard. Okay, so dodges and shields now count as successful defences for the big man. Yes. I am going to play Clawing Hands. Each friendly fighter that is not on the battlefield is considered to be supporting the first attack action of the next activation. <gasps> that hits. Lots of dead hands are going to be grabbing at his ankles. Yes. Um, then in that case, I will play... Okay, all of the cards are coming out now. No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The uh, thoughts are going yeah, in. I'll play Storm, uh, Stormforge Tactics. So, in the next activation, I can make the following reaction. So, after an enemy fighter's attack action that fails, choose up to two friendly fighters and push them up one hex. I'm taking a risk. 
on the assumption that your attack might not go through, but you're going to have a lot of dice in your favour. <laughs> so, um, okay, okay. I'll play. I'll, I'll play that to keep yourself safe. Back to the skellies then. Okay, the warden is going to have to move because otherwise, bright shield's going to come in and smush him. So, he is simply just going to take a step back and attack Oberyn with a chargey charge. So, he is going to be rolling two attack dice, needing hammers on Big Man. Do get hammer and I another success. Dodge. So, two successes because I get the ganging up from the clawing hands. Yep. So that will be uh, two damage done to Oberyn, which I think leaves him on one, doesn't it? Yes, which doesn't give me the benefits because it wasn't failed attack. Uh, in terms of ploys and stuff... Uh, attack action that fails? No, it no, it's a fail success. You got a success. Uh, oh, I still need to be able to do something. Um, I think it's a tricky, tricky scenario here. I am unsure what to do. Uh, so... I want to push Oberyn away, but I'm quite happy where he is. So it's like, what do I do? How do I go about it? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Have I messed this up? I think I have. It's starting to dawn on me now. Um, yeah, I, I think you've messed this up. I think well. I have really messed this up. I think Bright Shield's just going to walk in and murder him now, which is uh, a bit of an issue. Real bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> screw it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So I'm still not 100% sure why, Tom. It's just not why. Don't even try and play it off as like it's a tactical decision. I messed that up. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not sure why you We've got to hope for a, we've got to hope for a good roll here. Sca um, scary yeah, land hope, is going to Let's live. hope we do get a good roll. No, um, you're not, you're... So Bright Shield is... I couldn't have even pushed Oberyn in the way. I'm like literally thinking that oh, Bright Shield could get around either way. Yeah, so Bright Shield's going to charge. Come three. at me, bro. Come at me. One, two, three. Okay, don't come at me that far. Um, <laughs> and then is going to... Thump yeah, with three dice, need hammers. Oh, no, nope, nope, nope. Two hammers, Two so I need hammers. a crit. You need a crit? Please. No, nah, nope. he's dead. So he's dead? That's, that's basically game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that basically that, game? That's basically game. <laughs> okay. But no, I have faith. You have faith? I have faith in my remaining grunty skellies that they can do something good. Okay. Um, I've got no ploys. You? I have no ploys either, so... Back so, to me while I over to you. fumble. Oh dear. Well, learning process, we're going to call it that. So, this petitioner is going to... A drag. charge. Drag, drag his bony butt, um, bony butt over to there. <laughs> and he is going to have a swing at Bright Shield. He has got a mighty two dice. Looking for swords. Gets a crit. Gets a crit. You can oh. poke her with a single damage. Oh crit. no, she crits. And she's inspired. And she's inspired now. She's really Yay. hard to kill. Never mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, any ploys? An adjacent fighter's attack. Oh, actually, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to react first. I'm going to play uh, Necromancer Commands, which means I get to reroll that failed attack. Okay. So I get to make the attack again. Does that mean that I'm inspired? I think you're still inspired, yeah. I'm just going to hope for two crits here. Oh no, I get to just make another attack, don't I? Uh, so, two swords, two successes. And now you've got two defense dice. Neither. But don't get either. I do one point of damage. Okay. One point. So you've got two people who are on one health, but the bloody harvester can't get anywhere near them. Would Bright Shield's reaction kick in? See, there's, there's, I think there's it's the priority with the reaction. Yeah. I, I'm just going to say, and this might be wrong, let us know in the comments, maybe priority goes towards the player who's... Active. Active. Because, yeah... Because a reaction would say that you pushed away one hex yeah. because the, the attack failed. But it's a reaction on mine if a friendly fire's attack action fails. Or are they simultaneous? Let us know in the comments. I don't know. And we will continue to play these three matches, but we might correct it in the future. Yeah. Uh, any ploys? Did you have anything you wanted to play last time? Because you did get glory for wiping out my I warden. I did get a glory for wiping out your warden, didn't I? Um, I am going to... See, I'm on... I'm, I'm, Taking a lot of damage here, aren't you I? You are, so but be, I can't get to you now. I've got to be careful. I love it that petitioner just pokes Bright Shield to death next to. Oh, I'll be well annoyed. Um, I am going to. See, I'm going to have to really fish for objectives and power cards next turn. I'm, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to play Blessed Armor, which is what I wanted to play before, which would have came in useful getting a crit before. Um, when you roll a uh, crit for this fighter, when they are targeted by an enemy attack, remove one ruined token. 
from wow, them before the damage that is, is dealt. Good. Well, she is uh, inspired now, though, so you've got double the chance of doing exactly. it, I suppose. Um, which would have been nice when I got inspired before, um, because they just removed one damage. It's still... We're learning, we're learning, we're learning. We're learning. Um, I've not played these before, so... I'm, I'm doing all right with them. I know. I'm not playing mine before, but I'm not doing yeah, so well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not. But uh, um, no, you have played them before. Have You're I? Not doing very well. Have I played them before? Yeah. I can't remember. Anyway, back to you. I am um, so. But when we were saying Tom has played these before, I actually realised that we played a three-way game with Jay, and me and Jay just decided to kill each other. And I expected that. Like, <laughs> and Tom just kind of was like, yeah, just stand there. Just stand there, take um, So he hasn't really played them before, but it doesn't make a difference. Um, I'm just going to spend this turn and drawing another card into my deck because I am scarcely so... Words scarcely, are hard. Yeah, words are difficult. I am needing more cards. Needing the really cards more. Yes, needing the card. I need the glory. I got the glory. Yeah, I know. It's that time. Glorious. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I've got yeah another useless card. Um, <laughs> That's my deck you're working on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wish I had built this deck. I mean, well, I'd have done uh, this by now. I think. Okay. He's literally singing off camera here. If we can remember the last battle report we did where Paul was like really sullen and then was like really hyped, it's gonna be the reverse here. If I can pull this out my backside, it's gonna be really <laughs> hyped to Paul just being sad. Uh, anyway, third activation, I'm gonna get rid of this objective card because it's not looking can feasible. do it. And I'm gonna draw that objective card, which is no better. Ah! Oh. Any ploys, mate? No, I've got an objective because of the score. Ah, uh, boo-hoo, you could have had more glory. Yeah. I was going to play it, it was when it took you. You have to wait until next turn, now you have to wait. No, because it should have been done immediately. No, I'm going to insist, you need to play your card. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I've got nothing to play. It was Lightning Strike. Score this immediately if an enemy fighter is taken out of action by a charge action. Which you did do. Fighters, which... I will more than happily let you have that yeah. back. Mulligan, sorry, I'll stop being. Yeah, he's desperate out. to try to win. Look at him, he's trying to do everything. you got glory then. Yeah. Uh, do you want to play any for any upgrades? You know what? No, I'm not going to. Because uh, that would be too far. Because that would be too far. On my gentlemanly honour. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've only got five against nothing, so this is starting to become whitewashed. So. I thought you were going to stop bragging with Did the allowing you. Well, that, I'm just pointing out facts this. That, that, that's not bragging. All right, back to the hip. Okay, so my last activation, and I promise I'll stop gloating, Tom, I promise, is I'm going to move Steelheart, taking a risk, possibly. Um, just let me check, see what cards I can, I can play potentially, just to, to keep him a bit safe. Um, I'm just going to move him Ooh, to stay out of your range. No, you've got <laughs> two range, haven't you? Yeah. I'm going to move there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to continue to like desperately fish for that one glory that we need to get the ball rolling, because so I'm going to swap that and replace it with that. Right, I think it's just the general trend that I get like whitewashed in the first of these games, to be honest. Because <laughs> I've still not drawn anything uh, that I was looking for there in terms of the power cards to bring people been, back. You've been unfortunate in your draws, haven't you? Uh, I think I was just foolish in my two actions of the Warden. I need to learn how to use the Warden a bit better. Like, um, in the first turn, bringing people back so he got inspired and they got inspired would have been good, and then leaving him open for the Bright Shield smash was, was silly. poor play. Uh, so, you've scored another... Objective. I scored Slayer of Tyrants, um, so that was for taking your Warden out of action. Yeah, and then you pay for two upgrades. And I paid for two upgrades with the two glory I had. I put Great Strength on Oberon, giving him plus one damage. Um, and I've also given Bright, Steel, Bright Shield Righteous Strike. Now, it's, it's more effective against an enemy leader because it means you get to make an additional attack. But it means I've been able to draw five. Yeah, it yeah, basically means you've got some fresh ones. Yep. Uh, I've drawn garbage. <laughs> so, uh, Paul won the roll off and he has elected to go first. And I now have oh, yeah. these on. objectives. I'll look away and then I'll get my. I'm not entirely sure they were flashed on camera quick enough for anyone to read. I think I was hoping for like a better day, um, but never mind. So we'll go to the first activation of the final turn with Stormcast. Of the first match. So my first action is going to be the inspired Bright Shield. I love the image of her facing down this tiny little skeleton, this like giant force of nature. I really, really hope that she kills him. She's got all sorts I of I love it if he just pokes her. her in the ankle to kill her. Yeah. She's got all sorts of upgrades on her. She's got to be able to do I think they're all like defensive there. ones though, yeah, aren't they? maybe. Overall a crit when she makes an attack, I get to 
clear one wound. I forgot about that. Come on, um, mate. I thought so, it was defence. Is it for attacks, the blessed uh, armour? When you roll a crit for this fighter, when they are targeted by an attack ah, action, go. yeah, remove one wound. Also, it is I was like, an attacking action in my deck? No, defensive only. Do you apologise? So you're going to slap my petitioner? Yeah, so I'm going to slap the petitioner. I've got three dice with Sigmarite Hammer, looking for hammers. Um, and one. Again, one hammer. Uh, I have got a single defense dice looking for a dodge. No, oh. he's, he's popped. He's, he's dead. He's um, So that is another glory to me. Any ploys? Um. <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to play Pale of Thunder, choose an enemy fighter, and push them one hex in any direction. So I am going to push uh, enemy fighter oh an enemy fighter oh yeah sorry choose an enemy fighter and push them one hex and any you're so used to playing against yeah, the stormcast yeah. um, <laughs> I am going to push this guy just off camera there okay this, I uh, am going to play terrifying screams ah. I am also going to push an enemy fighter over here Abram retaliate <laughs> I'm going to play sidestep. Oh. <laughs> All of the dodges. <laughs> All of the dodges. Um, and I am going to push over and back. Well then. See ya. You could have closed in then. You could run all three of them, just like swarm. Um, and everyone is within range. I've got nothing else to play. <laughs> I am going to play... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to equip... Uh, bright shield with great speed. It's given a plus one move. Well, then, that, that's entirely necessary now. This is this is painful. Uh, back to me then. Right, I'm going to chuck up a hail mary, and I'm just going to draw this amazing. All oh, right, never mind. Back to you. Okay, so when in doubt, send Aubrey in. He's laughing because he just failed this charge and forgot to press record conveniently. Yeah, they go on. fail it, and if, if we get... With, nah, it makes no odds, he won this Tom, anyway. Tom gets, does get moral victory regardless of whether we No, you yeah, missed there. Missed again. So, uh, miss again, so yeah. it's a draw, so the same exactly thing happened. What happens, yeah. Life is good. Um, um, I am going to play an upgrade, Paul. Go for it. I'm going to put, and you'll love this, I'm going to put a demonic weapon on this uh, lame little petitioner over here. Okay, sweet. So he's got like a huge death weapon. Um, that's it. Anything for you? Um, I've got one glory left, haven't I? Um, because I think Auburn's going to die, I'm going to throw Army of One on Steelheart. Give him plus one defense and plus one attack dice. If he's the last bloke. If he's the last bloke, yeah. Oh, let's see if I can get this kill then. Right, so this lowly petitioner with his with his super flaming death sword yeah. is gonna make a charge I can't get my objectives I was hoping to get objective 2 with the key and everything I need to draw some power cards and I think I'm just gonna trust the stabbing stuff so he has got two hammers because this demonic weapon but he will take one wound afterwards that will half <laughs> his health literally uh, need to hit oh he gets a crit he gets a crit and no ganging bonus because I've only got one I need and you get nothing get nothing so that is three damage than Tobrin and he's dead, you've took me out. Popped him, thank God. He popped over. Uh, it's still not going to help me in any way, but um, it does mean I can pay for an upgrade. Yay! In the hope that I draw some sort of other dodging thing, which I definitely don't think I have, I'm going to put the shadowed key on the harvester, which basically means if he happens to end on objective two, I'll get two glory for it. Any ploys for you? Uh, no, I've already played Army of One. Looks like that's going to come into effect for Steelheart. He's now hard as nails now. He can come in and squish that petitioner, though, in revenge. I could potentially squish both of them. Here we go. Ooh. So it's come down to the wire, and sadly, I'm so slightly. To the wire, how many points are you ahead? I'm slightly out of range for Tireless Assault to give it a full whitewash. Killing seven characters. Seven like two been, to three HP. Yeah, it would have been impressive with only three. The biggest army against the least, the, the, the smallest. It would. Um, it would have been pretty impressive. It would have been testament to how good I am at this game. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers. Okay, sorry. Um, so, Steelheart. Charging in. 
full distance, yeah. Let's let's get this face off underway. <laughs> With his glowing sword of death. Yeah. Well he's he's half his life now, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's half um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fudge this, aren't I, completely? So I'll get four attack dice. I'm missing the Four attack dice? Is it because of an army of what? Yeah. Plus one for defence and plus one attack dice. So you go up to three, where's his other one coming from? Oh, he's on t- oh, sorry, I looked at his damage there. Do apologise. Cheat. Cheat. Moral Cheat. victory goes to Tom. Got him. Um, look for hammers. A crit and a hammer. Yep. So I don't think I can do anything. I need to get a crit to even the crits, but even then, your hammer goes through. Yep. Um, so that's three damage. Boop. He dead. Gets you a glory. Glorious. Da, 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 da. Anything you want to upgrade Steel Heart with? Um, no, I do want to play Tireless Assault, but I can't. Because that put you on nine. Oh no, it, 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 I can't target the same fighter, can I? Does that put you on nine glory? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. <sighs> Bad times. Bad times. You've got a smirk on your face when I got something to be worried about. If I can draw it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to it. Right, Hail Mary, last activation. Is it going to be an awesome power card? It's not. Well. We'll go to the end phase and see if we've scored any more points. See if Paul scored any more points. He's shaking his head off camera. And then we'll round up this first match. And here's how things look at the end. <laughs> and I'm just going to tell that the Harvester's just going to run away. It's like, no! Um, Steelheart, standing proud. I've won shades by it. Steelheart is the ultimate survivor. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, but so yeah. a bit more aggressive with, the, with this deck than, than you normally are. But we've got no objective scored. No, nothing extra to play. It's no, so my idea was get objective two with bright shield, survive two action phases to get a movable object, and then that would have been winning the points, winning the, the, the round, and get seized ground. Now, unfortunately for me, I'll talk about it in the post match, but the uh, objective base skelly's not getting any objectives, kind of bit me in the backside. So let's say a final score for the first match of nine to two. To the Stormcast Eternals, well done, mate. Thank you very much. And we'll go to the post-game review. It's that Warden death. And that is how you Stormcast! Boom! Oh, that, that's entirely... Bad play. Yep. Bad um, play. Unfortunately... I own that. You skimmed through, skim through the deck at the end, didn't you? And the three main cards you needed to draw were all stuck together at the bottom. There was a lot of me drawing the objective cards all together. And we did get the decks a job at the start, and it's just yeah. the way it happens. Sometimes I do a lot of objectives. Getting objective five, because that deck has got all the keys in it as well, the two main keys anyway. Mm. Uh, you need two or four ID on your doorstep. I had two, but I didn't. I had five. Yeah. Five isn't even in that deck. Okay. Getting objective number five. Um, but dangling the warden. First of all, not bringing the two skeletons back in the first turn to inspire three of my crew. Bad oh, move. Yep. Dangling the warden for bright shield. I should have just left open and just backed away. Yeah. Walk you, away. You, you, Keep when, him safe. when you like moved them there and then I'll take an attack and I was like Yeah, I didn't know I, I even thought you just back away because you're not gonna kill him. Yeah. So that was uh that was it and I think once the warden's gone it's it's bad times. So yeah, a good it's just picking bones then. Although I racked up glory. Picking bones? Oh yeah, sure isn't um, yeah, it's just it's just picking meat off the bones of <laughs> pardon the pun again. Um but yeah, you just your 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 your, your stormcast deck it's slow building. They don't have access to many big points. Well, we talked about this in the last match, yeah. they only have small incremental points they can access at the moment. Hopefully the Skaven and Dwarfs will get some more things we can access. Yeah, they just chip away a little yeah. bit, little bit, little bit. And in all fairness, that worked. If you, if you, you get, get more rolling? four glory a turn with them. I mean, I didn't get any glory than takeouts in the last turn yeah. and objectives. Um, so I, in fact, I didn't score many objectives in the grand scheme of things. No, it was all the takeouts. And I think take-outs. not being able to bring those guys back and chip away. If I could have that brought, hit. if I could have brought the two back and got rid of Bright Shield No Brim in turn two, which feasibly could have been done with the champion coming yep. back inspired and the prince. Um, that's a very different scenario because mm-hmm. the skelly should dance around, yes. steal heart, getting objectives. Um, My not... defensive roles were poor as well. Yeah, so no inspirations. No, yeah. The one thing I'm definitely noticing with this game is that initial glory, if you don't get it, you are struggling all the way. I think yeah. it took me, what, until the end of turn two to get any glory at all. Yeah. Um, no, it was turn three, it's getting killed. Turn three, So kill, yeah. if you're not getting that, maybe I need to revisit the deck and kind of put some in. So let me know if you've got any suggestions. But we're going to continue with these lineups and with these decks for the next two games. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry, no one is bragging. I'll get the next two. 
The warden will be in the back with a diaper on, in a pram, protecting a little bubble of like, you know, yeah. protection. And yeah, it'll be fine. Totally. I'm just gonna not take it out. I'm just gonna pick up the ejector and Actually, play the ejector game. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, no, just I don't take it out. Can't kill you. Can't come back inspired. Let so, you do all the work. Yeah, all right. See how it goes. See how it goes. See you in the next match, guys. Yeah, drop us a subscription, and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, I do hope you enjoyed that video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it and you wish to see more of it, there are links here. And if you enjoy those and you want to support the channel and keep us going and see some more awesome content, you can check out our Patreon below.